excited about this week's episode because it's all about shout outs and spotlighting regular people that are doing amazing things. Well, some people may not see what they're doing as amazing, but we do, me and call it away, you know? So we want to spotlight people that are doing amazing things and want to give them kudos on this show. First on my list today, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for 38 year old Aisha Bakari Gombi. Yes, so a brave woman who was born and raised near Sambisa Forest. Aisha is very popular in Bono as well as Adamawa State. Aisha grew up as a hunter. She's from a lineage of hunters and she also works as a tailor to make ends meet. And so because of her hunting skills and her exceptional knowledge of the terrain, last year the Nigerian army recruited her and 228 other hunters, local hunters, to help them fight Boko Haram. Hold on, hold on please. Hey, hey father, what is this? What was that? Oh, Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Hey, Nigerian government has come again. Oh, and the Nigerian army, this is the kind of weapon to give to somebody to go and fight terrorists. Father, someone is already putting their lives on hold trying to fight Boko Haram. And this is what they have to work with. Father in Campbell, didn't the military recruit her? Yes, they did. If you recruit somebody, you must equip the person. Then, now I know why their first rescue mission in Edagu failed. This woman said that we could have freed them if the military had given us better weapons. Meanwhile, whenever someone is kidnapped in the area, an army commander will call Aisha on phone telling her to assemble a group of hunters to track down the Boko Haram kidnappers. I mean, they can call, but they cannot provide weapons. By the way, they are doing all this to get paid 10,000 naira, 10,000 naira to go and fight Boko Haram. And would you believe that even that payment is not regular? Now I'm hearing that some of those people, some of the 228 hunters have already quit because the money has not been regular. There is God in everything we are doing. That is like giving somebody 10,000 per month for them to die. Baba, sure you see what is happening in Nigeria. You must come down. The judgment, they must come sooner. But despite the shakaluku that this woman has to work in, is it shakaluku? What do they call it? I'm talking about the double barrel shotgun. This woman and her team have rescued hundreds of hostages. Hundreds! They would go after them, fight and kill the terrorists. As a matter of fact, the people of her town were so grateful to Aisha that they decided to make her a chief in order to show their appreciation for all the times that she has reunited them with their fellow family members that were kidnapped. She has united fathers and mothers and children and as much as we appreciate Aisha, she's not the only woman fighting terrorists in Nigeria. We also know about another hunter by the name Hamsat Hassan, a mother of seven children and so many others. So this is to all the women on the front line, all of you that are risking your lives. You all are amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks to all the 228 male and female hunters who were recruited on a more formal basis last year by the government of Nigeria to help the army in fighting Boko Haram. Now, that's what I call bravery, you know, fighting terrorists with that thing that they call a gun. Stop it. You don't have to play it again. They've said it. Now you want to make the Nigerian government and the Nigerian army look bad. You want people to be abusing us in Nigeria? Mind yourself now. Anyway, you guys not don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes, and I always got hand-me-downs. Now, she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better.